Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Uh, today we are going to learn how you can uh, initialize the QTS Cloud NAS. And in this uh, video, I'm going to show you uh, simple steps first, how you can activate your QTS Cloud license. Uh, second, how to initialize your QTS Cloud. And then third, uh, once you have initialized, how you can set up a storage pool and volumes, okay? so. Assuming uh, you have already set up a QTS Cloud instance on uh, a cloud platform of your choice, let's say maybe AWS or Azure, and once you have done that, and assuming that you have already uh, purchased uh, the QTS Cloud license, uh, we have done another video uh, in which we showed you how you can purchase the license, and uh, you can find the link in the description for these videos as well. So. Assuming you have uh, already uh, seen those videos and assuming you have done that step, so we'll get started uh, in this video and we'll just show you how you can use the license, how you can activate and initialize your QTS Cloud. Okay, so uh, I uh, for this particular video, I have used uh, AWS uh, QTS Cloud instance. Okay, and uh, on my AWS, you can see this is my public IP. So I have copy pasted this public IP and once I opened it, uh, you will be redirected to a smart uh, installation of QTS Cloud. Now, once you click on this button, start smart installation, you will be requested to enter the license key here. Okay, now uh, what you need to do is uh, you can go to your license manager uh, if you don't know how to find license manager just go on google and type qnap license manager and once you just do that uh, you can uh, open this website and you will automatically uh, be redirected there uh, because i have already logged in so i'm automatically logged in and you can click uh, here and see my licenses and you will see all your licenses here so uh, if your license is already used it will show valid if it's not used it will show unused so i have this license for qts cloud so i'll uh, I, I'll plan to use this one. So you just click on this license and scroll down and go to the activation and installation tab. Click on this button activate on QNAP device. Once you do that, choose the second option that is activate using the license key and click on next. And here is the license key. What you have to do is just copy. And once you copy it, uh, you can click on done. And once you copy it, you just paste it here. And once you do that, click on this checkbox and submit. And uh, once you click on submit, uh, the QTS Cloud will check whether your license is uh, valid or not. So in our case, the license is valid, so it goes ahead. Okay. So the initialization step has started. Uh, so what you need to do first is you need to set up some password for your QTS Cloud NAS. So I will set some password here and uh, then click on the next button and you can choose your time zone so I will choose uh, Taipei yeah okay so this is my time zone and just click next and apply and uh, yeah you can go ahead so once you do these simple settings your initialization process will begin and as you can see uh, the NAS initialization process has started so uh, you don't need to do anything and just wait for some time and get this uh, initialization step completed and uh, normally this process is same as you know what you see in physical NAS the only difference is uh, in QTS cloud you have to enter the license key and in the beginning and uh, yeah so rest of the things are the same so i will wait for the uh, initialization initialization step to be completed and then once it's completed i'll show you what to do next
Yeah, so you can see the setup is uh, already completed and uh, yeah, so you can see the setup is completed. Okay, so once it is uh, completed, you just have to click on go to NAS management and once you do that, you will be redirected to your uh, QTS Cloud NAS and yep, you can see here, uh, you are redirected to the home page of your NAS so what you need to do is just enter your username and password and start the login uh, let me refresh this page so that it's loaded completely looks like there is some uh, uh, network issue okay so admin and uh, uh, password Okay, so once you log in, you can see uh, this is the first time you are going to. Uh, I'm opening my QTS Cloud NAS, so uh, yeah, so you'll see a lot of pop ups about data privacy. So just click on continue. And uh, because it's opening for the very first time, so it will take some time uh, to open. It's not as quick normally as uh, you know, as you open for the uh, frequently so you can just close uh, these uh, windows and the first thing uh, what you need to do is you need to create a storage pool from the disk that you attached and as you can uh, as you know from uh, in all of our uh, uh, tutorials we uh, attached uh, one 200 GB disk so let's first do that and uh, okay so let me show you from the beginning how to do that so Although when you open uh, for the first time automatically uh, the storage pool uh, window will pop up but if it doesn't what you need to do is just go to storage and snapshots this application click here and once you do that uh, you this uh, wel uh, welcome uh, pay, uh, pop up will open you can just skip this tutorial and click on new storage pool if you don't see this you can close it here also and you can click on here to add a storage pool so just click here and you can add a storage pool so once you add a storage pool okay uh, let me show you here okay you can just click on next and please choose the disk number two this is the one which we created uh, 200 GB uh, we told you uh, that uh, if you need to create a storage pool we recommend you to use 200 GB so let's use this one this is the one which we use for system so you can ignore this so click on next uh, you can just click next and create and click on ok and a storage pool will be created in few minutes and once the storage pool is created the next step will be to create a volume inside the storage pool and once you do that that's i think that's it your uh, initialization will be done uh, please note that uh, in this uh, tutorial i'm just showing you how to initialize uh, if you want to create a raid configuration or uh, you know something more complicated uh, i'm going to uh, i'm going to do another video for that uh, where we'll show you uh, how you can set up RAID on your QTS Cloud NAS. Okay, so normally in that case, you will have to uh, create two or attach two storage disks uh, in your cloud platform uh, for RAID 0, and uh, then within your QTS Cloud, uh, 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 within your QTS Cloud interface, just like storage and snapshot here, you can set up a RAID configuration. Anyways, we'll show you that uh, later in another video. Now you can see your storage pool one has been created. You can now create a new volume. And uh, once you click here, just choose the location as storage pool one. You can click next and you can decide the volume capacity. If you want, you can set it up to max or uh, you can set to let's say 100 GB and click on next and click finish and once you do that uh, your volume will start created uh, will start creating and you can see the status of your uh, volume that is being created uh, normally it will take some time but once it is ready uh, i think you are ready to start using your uh, nas okay so that is that is all for today's video so it's very simple what i wanted to show once your volume will be successfully created 
uh, you will be able to uh, go to app center and you can uh, download any application you want currently if you can see just go to the app center all apps and you will be able to download and install any application that you want okay so these are the basic simple steps that you need to uh, that you need to perform to initialize your QTS Cloud NAS. So that's all for today's video. Uh, thank you.